This is the Pilot GMT Limited Edition chronometer from Brelum. Brelum is a Swiss luxury brand that produces just under 300 watches annually. It's run by a fourth generation Swiss watchmaker named Sebastian Mueller. I always enjoy filming a Brelum release for a couple reasons. One, I like getting hands on with truly limited sports watches. And two, the quality per price ratio is always on point, and hopefully that becomes evident as I present the details of this pilot chronograph. Now, Sebastian made 27 of these green dialed duo box cases, and they will measure in at just under 42 millimeters in diameter, almost 52 millimeters lug tip to lug tip, and 16.1 millimeters in total height. The case has two box-shaped sapphire crystals, and the one on the dial side is nice and dramatic. It's got a good dome to it, but there is also one on the case back, and that allows you to expansively view this beautifully finished Valjou caliber, and that's probably my favorite thing about the design. I just like seeing this fully decorated movement behind this shape of crystal. It doesn't matter if you're looking top down or from an angle, you see all aspects of the caliber, and I think that's really nice. So yes, this watch is definitely tall, but uh, most of the height does come from the two crystals, so it feels a little bit thinner while it is being worn. For reference, my wrist is 7.25 inches in circumference, and if I subtract the two crystals from the overall height, this stainless steel mid case is only 11.1 millimeters tall. Now, Sebastian sent me the handmade fitted brown leather strap for this press example, but I want to make it clear that those that buy this chronograph will get both this leather strap, which is really nice, and then the five link stainless steel bracelet, which I'll drop in a picture of, along with all of the tools necessary for sizing and swapping straps. And that's one of the ways that Brelum helps you feel like uh, that you're getting your money's worth of product. But I think the element that displays the most value is this movement. Brelum has named this the BR754 GMT caliber, but Sebastian is completely transparent about that, about the fact that this is a 7754 value based movement, and every part about the caliber will be finished very well. Uh, so you'll notice classic Geneva striping and purling, some mirror polishing and blued screws, which I think look really nice. Sebastian has also placed a custom gold tone rotor that will have the individual number of this run of the model, which is 27 watches. So the caliber is chronometer certified like all Brelum watches. And that's two things I want to mention, uh, two things that Brelum will always do. They always provide a Swiss made chronometer uh, you know, chronometer certified movement, and they will always show it off behind a display case back. As a watch collector, I think that's a nice thing. Now, the 754 is a trusted movement and has about 50 hours, a little bit less than 50 hours of power reserve. It does have cam lever actuation when it comes to engaging the chronograph, and it will beat 28,800 times every hour. This version of the movement has a GMT complication in addition to the date and the chronograph. So uh, the type of GMT is a dual time. It's not a true GMT. So with this, you can quick set the hand, the GMT hand in one direction with the first position of the crown when you pull it out. And then moving the crown in the opposite direction in the same position will advance the quick set date. So although this is not an ideal movement to frequently travel with, you can keep track of a secondary time zone, which can come in handy for a number of reasons. Whenever I buy a GMT complication, I usually set that GMT hand to London time, so I know when not to text my friends that live seven hours opposite of me. Now, this Pilot GMT has a push-pull crown, it has 100 meters of water resistance. The sapphire crystal has an anti-reflective treatment, which offers some good clarity. And this strap will come with a milled, signed, polished, deployant style clasp. Now let's take a closer look at the dial. This is a domed shaped dial, and it has a lovely verdant green color. And although I see no discernible sunburst, uh, the color hues here of the green change a little bit just like a sun ray or sunburst dial, 
Uh, the sub registers are laid out at the 12, the 6, and the 9 o'clock positions, and they have a nice varying green color as well, in addition to some pronounced snailing. And I always enjoy seeing that texture in chronograph sub registers. Notice how the hands here in these registers are nice and wide, they match the style or design of the main handset, and all of the hand members are brushed and will have a good application of Superluminova. And that's one thing that I like about these sub-register hands. They are fully loomed. And I, I like brands like Breitling and IWC that have a rich history of doing pilot watches. IWC has a very similar look with their pilot chrono models, uh, but those sub-register hands are just, uh, they're kind of for show. They look loomed, but in uh, no light conditions, they don't glow at all, which is kind of disappointing. And that's not the case here with this Brellum. So I like that. Uh, Brellum has used red as an accent color on the dial, and you will see it on the skeletonized tip of the GMT hand, the GMT signature within that elapsed minute counter, and then finally on the tip of the chronograph seconds hand. And maybe it's because I'm filming this close to Christmas, but I love this color pairing. I like the shade of green. I like that paired with the red and with the white and the stainless steel. I think it looks really great. Now, the last detail that I enjoy about this domed green dial is going to be the applied Arabic markers. They, like the hands and most of the dual box case here, are going to be brushed. And if I could suggest any changes to Sebastian at Brelum, it would be two minor things. One, I would love to see a color matched date wheel in that hour counter on the dial. And then two, uh, being a sucker for quick adjust clasps, I would love to see a sporty clasp design on the bracelet version uh, that would have a toolless micro adjustment. But other than that, I really wouldn't change anything else. But in closing, I would like to touch on the pricing and then the value aspects about this release. Full retail at today's uh, conversion rate for Swiss francs comes to about 3,000 340 United States dollars. And that will vary a little bit depending on the exchange rate or if you live in a country where VAT is applicable. But just for simplicity's sake, I will round out and say that this is a $3,300 watch. And that's a lot of money for a lot of watch collectors. So I don't want to downplay that. Considering what Brelum is offering here for that retail price, I do think that this is a solid value proposition because I don't know of any other brand, at least, you know, off the top of my head, that offers this level of finishing, a CUSC fully decorated value movement, a strap and a bracelet in an original design at these very low production numbers. Again, there will only be 27 of these produced from this truly independent Swiss brand. So like most watch collectors, I'm a fan of many brands, many watch designs, many price segments, but I do always enjoy what Sebastian creates and I do find value in it. And I look forward to seeing what he does with the 299 watches that he will make in 2024. I'll leave all links to Brellum below in the description of this video. Please reach out with any questions. Please like this video if you found it enjoyable and please subscribe for more varied watch content. Thank you.